in row. Or when prices are down at the gas station, heart rate up like inflation as I wait in anticipation. I'm only three struts away from my mini vacation. In Clark Kent to Superman, give me a moment to jump into my disguise. Hopefully I brought the right supplies. Pull my hair out my face, puff up my chest, and stretch my neck to the skies. I should figure out how to greet this beautiful creature. I think to myself, that would be wise. Then it hits me like lightning, and after all the internal fighting, I man up and say, hey, how you doing? You'll watch the house implode on itself from a safe place, and then you'll keep running, even if you always did kind of love the smell of campfire. But if you're not smart, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you like the way the flames lick a little too close to your skin. Maybe when the smoke is scratching at the inside of your lungs, you feel refreshed because... At least you and the smoke are both trapped, and misery always loves company, even if it is just for one night. You see, but I, I'm taking a stand, standing up to these shadows, these silhouettes, this devilish other part of me that I can't escape from. I don't want this dark passenger anymore. I don't want to wear some facade every single day, all because I have to be just like him, or just like her, or just like everyone else. I am a cultural connection to our past oppression. I am the future and the past. I object to the ideal that yin is bad and black is evil, because I mean, come on, people. Let's look at history. I am black. Like the ocean's greatest secret and the lion's greatest mane, I am black. I am black. I am black. So this right here is for everybody that loves to ask me, so what are you?